Alice Ryder is a coming-to-age spy thriller series based on a best-selling global phenomenal book franchise written by Anthony Horowitz, which has sold over 20 million copies worldwide. The series follows Alice Ryder, a London-based teenager who has unknowingly been trained since childhood for the dangerous world of espionage. Pressure to help investigate his uncle's death and how it connects to assassination of two high-profile billionaires, Alice reluctantly assumes a new identity and goes undercover in a remote boarding school called Point Blank. Isolated far above the snow lines in the French Alps, Point Blank claims to set the troubled teenage children of the ultra-rich back on the right path. As Alice digs deeper, he discovers the students are in fact subject of disturbing plans which Alice will have to risk his life to stop. All right, folks, welcome back to the channel today for another review. And yes, we're talking about Alex Ryder, which is going to be releasing here in America November 13th. Now, this series did release back in the UK early June, uh, so you may see some reviews and stuff about it already. But yes, it's now uh, just reaching uh, the U.S. territories November 13th. And it will be an uh, IMDb TV original series, and it also will be on Amazon Prime Video. So... What does that mean? Amazon Prime Video, you can watch it for free if you have a subscription, but you're getting commercials and ads, all that stuff. But if you have an IMDb TV subscription, then you're getting this commercial list. So each of these eight episodes will be available on November 13th, um, about 45 minutes each without commercials. So I'm guessing about an hour with ads and all that other good stuff. Uh, but again, all eight episodes will be dropping at one time, November 13th. Now, I'm not familiar with the source material, but I did my research and I realized like this is a really, really popular franchise here uh, by the creator Anthony Horowitz, who sold 20 million copies worldwide. He has 14 books. Now, although he did not write this series because he was working on another novel, I mean, hey, got to stick to what you know first, right? It's still, you know, he gave his not he he gave his blessings to the person who's writing this, but it still has a ton of traction and momentum with it. It already been renewed for a season two back in June with the UK release, so like you can just tell that like there's a lot of people super interested in that in this. And for me, like you know, the promotional work is what got me. I thought the trailers, I thought the graphics, I thought all the advertisement. I thought it just all worked for me to see like what is this series about. And of course, we've all liked spy espionage uh, film series media for years. 007, the Bourne series, uh, Mission Impossible, all that other good stuff. But one that is in a teenage life, a regular teenage life, shall we say, and how this is a little bit different. I was very curious to see how this is going to work. So, and then it was the 2006 film that a lot of people liked. Chris Man now liked it, but a lot of people liked, and I think that's just good enough. So, but yeah, talk about this series. Now, this doesn't have a lot of action. It's not over the top. Uh, and I hear that that's very uh, contradicting to the second book in which this is based on Point Blank. But it does really amazing job in the character development for me. First of all, the um, protagonist, uh, Alice Ryder, who's played by Otto Ferrant, he does a, a tremendous job in his role being the focal person really carrying the show. And I'll come back to him in a second, but... It's how all the supporting characters, even the limited roles, really radiate radiate off the screen. Like, his sidekick is just a character who has some of the best dialogue and lines within this film. And then there's other people who just got little sprinkles throughout this series that you just like, I want more of that person. I want to see what happens with that person. And I think with a good load of confidence that we already got season two and that there's 14 books, you know we're going to see this develop over time. So that's, like, really, really cool and again, while this doesn't have a lot of action, doesn't have over the top gadgets and all that other stuff, the character development really carries the show that keeps you invested. And the other thing I'll say is too, because you're dealing with espionage, now, so you know you're dealing with weaponry and all that other good stuff. There's no gore. It's it's there's no um there's no adult language because it's free. So everyone, so everyone can like, can like it. Everyone can enjoy it. There's a lot. There's a little bit of something for everybody. With that being said, it's very light. 
So a very different tone, which you would probably suspect in coming into this. And I think that's like really, really refreshing considering that is not the norm. Now, sure, this plot wasn't completely perfect. And of course, it's not original. And maybe some of it may not be believable, but it's entertaining. You would absolutely, for eight episodes, you'll just be stuck to just want to get this through and just want to see how it all plays out. And then you'll be like me wondering, like, well, when are we getting season two? Um, so it's a really easy binge. But going back to Otto, I think that um, he just really he carries the show because he so he 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 shows such good poise, confidence in his role, um, some swagger. Because again, he's a teenage boy in school, but now he's getting ready to embark into this other life and journey that he never knew really existed. But yet at the same time, he had already kind of been trained for it. So the idea of seeing this character kind of like groove himself into this into this new lifestyle it was really really cool and i think that how we see him in those settings how we see him interacting with his best friend his family and then his friends that's back in school i think he just does a tremendous job in all these different elements that uh again it's family friendly that every single person can find something about it that they like i mean you can go as simple as his interactions with women you can blow like, i remember when i was like that back in, in in high school you know what i mean so and then you can see how the investigative cap gets on you and you start wondering like what are you going to do and how would you have handled that and considering what's happening with this series which i can't can't really tell to tell you too much about there's going to be a lot of those times where you're actually trying to put yourself in his shoes trying to figure out how would you handle it what would you do etc etc and i think he just does a good job of making his character so relatable that the fans just are really really invested into it but the two things I loved about the series the most. One, the score. I love the score and I love the soundtrack. Really upbeat, hip-hop sort of feel that really helped with the tempo as well. And it complimented Otto and Alex Ryder. I thought it really worked well with him. It's almost to a point like where you can say like he single-handedly picked it for him. Um, and then the aesthetics here. The set pieces, the cinematography with the the, the, the color, the lighting, the, the scenes, the, the panning shots all really really well done so but with this series again it's coming out november 13th like look this series doesn't get serious so you shouldn't either so you be going there really open harley and just looking for something that's really entertaining and um has a, a a story again that's entertaining not the strongest but something that again you're not reinventing the wheel here um that you know is a tone down from what you would expect from other espionage film and also a tone down from the over the top action but really drawing in on character development alice rider is going to be a series that you're absolutely going to want to get through without moving maybe a bathroom break maybe a food break but for uh you would see eight times six you got a little little over six hours here um uh, you will absolutely have a really good time getting through this so but let me know what you think about this series after you've seen it or if you've seen the trailers. Are you checking this out? I, again, 20 million copies of, of, of this book. So there's a lot of people who's interested into this series. And then with there being 14 books, we don't even know what the numbers of those are, are maybe like, again, this is a really popular franchise. And I think that, uh, uh, excuse me. He sold over 20 million worldwide with this franchise. So we can tell like this is a really popular franchise and a lot of people um, have got back into reading because of him. And, you know, that's why this series is here now. And I think that, you know, what I see now looks like that you can just tell how these characters were just really pulled from out of the text and brought to life. And they just did a really good job with the character development and the status. And I think everybody will be genuinely pleased. But let me know what you think about it. If you've seen, if you read the novels, let me know what you think about this as well too. And as always, so stay tuned because we got more reviews coming real soon.